For almost a hundred years, the ophthalmoscopic exam has been one of the most important procedures in the diagnosis of disease, giving us a wealth of valuable information about a patient's well-being. Numerous ocular and systemic problems can be detected with the ophthalmoscope, the only non-invasive means of directly viewing the vasculature in its natural state. Fundamentally, the technology and optical design of the ophthalmoscope hasn't changed in decades. Until now. The Welch Allen Panoptic is a revolutionary new concept in ophthalmoscopy. Developed and patented by Welch Allen, the originator of the world's first handheld direct illuminating ophthalmoscope, the Panoptic incorporates an innovative and patented new optical design called axial point source optics. This enabling technology makes it easy to enter small pupils and provides a dramatically wider, more panoramic view of the fundus than ever before achieved with a standard ophthalmoscope in an undilated eye. It's a difference you can see. Here's the view of the fundus that you can see through a standard ophthalmoscope. Now, here's the view through the panoptic. The view of the fundus is five times larger than what you see with a standard ophthalmoscope, making it easier and more efficient to see the many different features of the fundus. With the panoptic, you'll be able to easily find the optic disc and see it in its entirety, as well as see and follow the surrounding vessels at the same time. The panoptic even looks different than a standard ophthalmoscope. Its unique patented design is engineered to help practitioners perform fundus exams easily and thoroughly, with maximum comfort for both patient and practitioner. The panoptic is the first true innovation in the technology and design of the ophthalmoscope in decades. Panoptic's patented new axial point source optics makes it easy to enter small pupils and provides a view of the fundus that's five times larger than ever before achieved with a standard ophthalmoscope in an undilated eye. In all standard ophthalmoscopes, the conventional optics design requires the operator to look over the mirror that directs the illumination into the eye, thereby limiting the alignment of the viewing axis with the illuminated area. When you use a standard ophthalmoscope, you get a relatively small field of view, only about five degrees. This often makes it difficult to view the different features of the fundus, posing a challenge in diagnosing important pathologies. Welsh Allen's patented new axial point source technology converges the bright white halogen HPX illumination to a point at the cornea, allowing easy entry into even the smallest pupils. Then, axial point source optics enables the illumination pathway to diverge to the retina, creating a very wide illuminated area of the fundus. Simultaneously, the scope's unique viewing system allows the operator to view the illuminated area on virtually the same axis, creating the widest field of view attainable in undilated ophthalmoscopy. The practitioner is actually viewing the fundus while looking through the mirror, which directs the illumination into the eye, maximizing the alignment of the viewing axis with the illuminated area. In an the Panoptic's patented glare extinguishment system efficiently delivers the maximum illumination for an optimum image while preventing interference from unwanted glare and reflections. The Panoptic makes it easy to enter undilated pupils and gives you a 25 degree field of view, resulting in a view of the fundus that's about five times wider than ever before achievable with a standard ophthalmoscope in an undilated eye. You'll also obtain a 26% more magnified view that makes it easier to see retinal details. The scope's design also creates a much greater working distance between the practitioner and the patient, improving the comfort level of both during the exam. With the panoptic, you'll see a large illuminated area that's visible all at once. As a result, you're able to easily achieve undilated views that were once only possible with dilation. The Panoptic works with your existing Welch Allen 3.5 volt battery handles and wall transformers, including desk charger handles, convertible rechargeable battery handles, the new lithium ion smart battery handle, and wall transformers. An optional locking collar is also available to secure the instrument when it's mounted on a wall transformer. To use Panoptic with your existing Welch Allen 3.5 volt power source, just push the bayonet-style connectors together and turn. 
This is the patient side of the instrument, where the eye cup is attached. And this is the practitioner side, with the focusing wheel and aperture dial facing the user. The ergonomically designed soft grip handle allows for maximum comfort, balance, and access to the controls. Just wrap your fingers around the soft grip on the patient side of the scope and place your thumb on the focusing wheel on the practitioner side to allow easy focusing and maneuverability during exams. When using the scope, your thumb should always be on the dynamic focusing wheel, which adjusts the focus in a continuous, smooth, rotating action for more precise control. Just below the focusing wheel, the aperture dial allows you to select the apertures or filters that you may need. Spot sizes include micro, small, and large. Panoptic Model 11810 also contains a slit aperture for seeing elevation changes and a red-free filter for higher contrast resolution, giving you a better ability to distinguish between blood vessels and hemorrhaging lesions. And it also includes a half-moon aperture, which provides a combination of depth perception and field of view. Panoptic Model 11820 also contains the slit aperture and red-free filter, plus a cobalt blue filter and an add-on lens for corneal examinations, allowing the panoptic to be used as a surrogate for a woods light or black light. With the optional add-on corneal magnifying lens attached in place of the patient eye cup and the cobalt blue filter engaged, the panoptic can be used along with fluorescein dye to examine the cornea for abrasions and foreign bodies. The add-on lens also allows examination of the other anterior structures of the eye. For a fundoscopic exam, the eye cup must be attached to the pay side of the scope. To attach the eye cup, just push and turn gently in one motion. It's essential that the panoptics eye cup makes contact with the patient's brow in order to establish the proper viewing distance between the instrument and the patient. The proper distance is necessary to achieve the panoramic field of view. The eye cup also serves four other important functions. Because the illumination is converged to a point at the cornea, the wide fundoscopic view is sensitive to motion. The practitioner, the scope, and the patient are connected through the eye cup, so it serves as the source of stabilization for the view, allowing you to hold and maintain the panoramic image of the fundus. The eye cup also serves as a pivoting point, providing leverage and stability to enable the practitioner to pan around the retina. The eye cup is also a very forgiving orientation aid that helps you to approach and make contact with the patient. Finally, the eye cup serves as an occluder of ambient light, making exams easier and glare-free. The eye cup is reusable and cleanable, and packages of five are available. Cleaning and maintenance of the panoptic is similar to any other ophthalmoscope. Just wipe exterior surfaces occasionally with a soft cloth dipped in alcohol or soapy water and clean lens surfaces with lens tissue or lens cleaning solution. The Panoptic comes with a standard one-year warranty against defects in materials and workmanship. Conducting an exam with a Panoptic is easy to learn. Although not required, it's recommended that the examiner remove his or her eyeglasses so that the scope can be brought closer to the eye in order to obtain the optimal view. Look through the scope with your thumb on the dynamic focusing wheel and focus on an object that's at least 10 to 15 feet away. Focus the scope on the object until it's clear and sharp. Next, make sure that the aperture dial is set to the small aperture or home position. This setting is marked with a green indicator line on the dial. It's the ideal setting for a typical undilated pupil. Using any standard Welch Allen 3.5 volt power source, turn the scope on. Adjust the light intensity rheostat to its maximum position. Make sure that you are seated or standing at eye level with the patient. This is important in any ophthalmoscopic examination to easily achieve the correct orientation in the eye. Explain to your patient that in this exam, the eye cup will touch her brow. Instruct her to try not to move her head and to focus straight ahead. Position yourself about 12 inches away at a 15 to 20 degree angle on the temporal side of the patient. To keep your patient's head steady, you may want to rest your opposite hand on the patient's forehead. Shine the light at the patient's eye and look for the red retinal reflex. 
slowly follow the red reflex toward the patient and into the pupil. The eye cup should contact the patient's brow and you will then achieve the panoramic view of the fundus. At this point, a large view of the entire optic disc and surrounding vessels should be visible. This wide view makes it much easier to see important fundoscopic features and to follow the vessels out to the periphery. Examine the disc for clarity of outline, color, elevation, and condition of the vessels. Follow the vessels in all four directions, superior, nasal, inferior, and temporal. To find the macula, focus on the disc, then move the light about two disc diameters temporally. You may also want to ask the patient to look at the light of the ophthalmoscope, which will automatically place the macula in full view. Many practitioners choose to use the red free filter at this stage to facilitate viewing the center of the macula. This routine will reveal almost any abnormality that occurs in the fundus. After examining the right eye, just repeat the procedure for the left eye. Now, here's another unique feature of the panoptic. If your vision is strongly dominant in one eye, then unlike a standard ophthalmoscope, you can use your dominant eye even when looking at your patient's opposite eye. If your right eye dominant, for example, you can use your right eye to examine both of your patient's eyes. This is possible because of the increased distance between practitioner and patient that's provided by the panoptic. As with any technique, the more you use the panoptic, the more proficient you'll become at performing the exam. The Welsh Allen Panoptic is a revolutionary new concept in ophthalmoscopy with an innovative new optics design. The Panoptic's patented axial point source optics makes it easy to enter small, undilated pupils and provides a view of the fundus that's five times larger than ever before achieved with a standard ophthalmoscope in an undilated eye. With the Panoptic, you'll see a 25-degree field of view compared to a standard ophthalmoscope's five-degree field of view, making it easier to see the different features of the fundus. The Panoptic gives you a 26% increase in magnification compared to a standard ophthalmoscope, making it easier to see retinal details. The scope's design also creates a much greater working distance between the practitioner and the patient, improving the comfort level of both during the exam. In addition, the Panoptic works with your existing Welsh Allen 3.5 volt battery handles and wall transformers. The Welsh Allen Panoptic Ophthalmoscope with axial point source optics makes it easy to enter small pupils and provides a dramatically wider, more panoramic view of the fundus compared to standard ophthalmoscopy in an undilated eye. It's a difference you can see.